So welcome again to Cake and Ashy Candlestick Patterns. My name is Nanad. Today we are going to talk about new view of the candlestick patterns. So risk disclaimer before we begin. Of course, as always, risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with forest market. And by proceeding further, you are accepting all the risks associated with forex market. Online educational materials are developed by Admiral Markets as Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration that information this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get the corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Admiral Markets UK LTD takes no responsibility for the information accuracy, the analysis, represents the personal opinion of the author, me, and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for the trade. These are not AMUK's opinions, and the website in the video is not .co.uk website, but the globalnews.com website. <coughs> Sorry, for this is risky business, this is personal opinion only, and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. Just a slight digression, as you could see, our last recap went perfectly fine. So, as always, I advise you to sign in for uh, recaps on Monday. Last recap went excellent, especially especially uh, Euro, uh, Aussie and Euro dollar and also cable. Cable looked like it, it was going to be a loser, but eventually it went to give us nice profits, nice profits for, for scalping trade. Of course, you need to follow me on Twitter. Uh, Facebook or Admiral Marcus and Admiral Marcus blog to get the latest updates of possible changes after the session recaps. But there was only uh, one change, slight change for uh, cable, as I explained on Twitter, treat that as scalping entry. So whoever shorted it at 66.25 on scalping, it was a very, very good trade for scalping purposes. But of course, Aussie and Euro dollar were the trades of the week. So let me get back, of course, to our uh, Cake and Ash introduction today. And you just need to, to be patient for, I need to explain the rule sets and how a Cake and Ash functions. And then you will see the nice strategy for Cake and Ash candlesticks. And if you, are, uh, if you like the strategy, as always, you can email me and I will send you the strategy in next day or two. So, Heike and Ashi introduction, difference between HA, it's, it's basically HA and Japanese candlesticks, and Heike and Ashi or HA versus Heike and Ashi smoothed or HAS. And there, there is also Heike and Ashi strategy. So, Heike and Ashi are similar to Japanese candlesticks, but they use a just a slightly different formula for calculations. In Japanese, Heiken means average and Eshi means pace. So basically, when you connect those two words uh, together, it represents the average pace of prices. Okay? is the average pace of prices. Then these candlesticks can be used to identify trending periods potential reversal points, and classic technical analysis patterns. The technique is different than using traditional candlesticks, and basically Heiken Ashi modifies the traditional Japanese candlestick by sending the open and close through a calculation of the average. So Heiken Ashi is a little bit a laggy indicator, but still, for some strategies, it can be good. As you know, a successful strategy should contain a lagging indicator, a leaking indicator, and of course, dynamic trend level indicator. In this case, your lagging indicator is uh, Heiken Ashi, but you can use other filters to get you into trade, and we will use TDI indicator for today's showcase and strategy. Someone also uh, talk of Heiken Ashi as Heiken Ashi. So it's H-E-I-K-I-N sometimes used. Instead of E here, a letter I is used. 
So somewhere you can also find Heiken Ashi instead of Heiken Ashi. Okay? It's a slight wordplay, but I think this is how traders usually refer, refer to it. Heiken, Heiken Ashi with E between K and N. Difference from traditional candlesticks. You know that uh, standard Japanese candlestick use normal open, high, low, close formula. And that is called OHLC formula. So OHLC formula is a standard formula for open, high, low, and close. So standard Japanese candlestick use that normal formula for calculations. You know that already, especially if you're trading, if you have been trading a candlestick patterns, or maybe you know a few, if you, if you visit our, our webinars, mine and Chris webinars, and especially my webinars because I work with price action, you probably know that uh, standard Japanese candlestick contain many of those patterns. We had also mentioned important basic ones and important advanced ones and there is more of 50 candlestick patterns if you sum it up there there is a lot of uh, advanced bullish and advanced bearish candlesticks and there is also plenty of minor uh, candlestick patterns but overall you basically need to know those uh, cake and ashy candlesticks as, as simple ones because they're pretty different from from traditional candlesticks and they do not use the formulas which have been implemented in, in standard candlesticks. Standard candlestick is a, is a pure price action showcase so they will give you open, high, low and close of a price in a given period of time. Uh, Heike Nashi uses another formula. For close it calculates open plus high plus low plus close and when you sum it up you divide it by four. Because usually, usually, in the Heike Nashi formula, there will be triple or four moving averages. For open price, it uses open of the previous bar plus close of the previous bar divided by two. For high, it uses maximum high open close. And for low, it uses minimum low open close. So basically, it's, it's a different, different uh, calculation so we can say that Heiken Ashi is an indicator in contrary to candlestick. Candlestick is not a mathematical indicator. Candlestick is an indicator of the price. It's, it's avatar of the price. I, I call it uh, very often av avatar of the, of the price. Because if price is, I, I need to say in our trading business, if price is something that ultimately matters, uh, we can refer, and I'm, I'm not a, a taste or something, and I don't want to talk about religion, but every religion ha has a God, right? Someone called God as God, someone referred to it as Buddha, some refer to it as Allah, so basically in all religions a God is, is a God. It's, it's an ultimate being. For us uh, traders, the price is something we need to call it a God. And it's, it's not connected to any religion, but you know, when you trade price, you're, you're, if you're a full-time trader, your life, your life sometimes depends on the price. And if, if the God is something abstract, we, we say that price is an avatar. It's an embodiment of, the, of, the, of the, at that price. So we can actually see it. So basically, Japanese candlesticks are pure avatar of the price. Some, thi some things which we cannot see, a uh, Japanese candlestick can tell us in basically one or three words, right? And when you compare the price action to the market volatility, you again see the power of those Japanese candlesticks. But sometimes for Japanese people that wasn't enough and they created something that they thought to have more impact on trading than standard candlestick patterns. Now, whether that is the truth or not, I leave it to you. 
I will give you a system, I will present you with a system, and if you're eager to test it, of course, you, you will make money with it. It's a simple system which uses Heike Nash's smoothie candlesticks. I will explain what Heike Nash's smoothie is and an indicator called Traders Dynamic Index or TDI. Now, we also we, we explain here the purpose of the Heike Nash, uh, the formula of the Heike Nash. But what, what is the purpose? What are the benefits from using Heike Nash candlesticks? The first benefit of Heike Nash is, is that it shows you the direction of the trend through color-coded candles. All of Heike Nash candlesticks are color-coded by default. The blue candle, by default, is showing you the trend is up. The red candle will show you that the trend is down. Simple as that. The second benefit of Heike Nash is that it also indicates a strength of a trend. So you will notice that many of the candles do not show a wick in the opposite, opposite direction of the trend. And this lack of a wick is a result of the calculation above to indicate the average price moving in the direction of the trend. So when you see that there is no wick in opposite direction, that means that you're in a strong trend. And usually when you're in a trade and you're unsure of whether to exit or not, you can consider the Heike Nash candle wick. If the Heike Nash continues to show the trend moving in your favor, that is a strong trend. So that you, you, you confidently can stay in your trade. The candles can sometimes stay one color for a longer period of time giving you basically hundreds of pips on a 4-hour chart. Catching and holding on to these long trends can be very profitable, but of course it's not as always easy as that. As you know, there is a lot of psychology involved. There are, there are a lot of different things that involve trading, not just the price and the chart itself. Now, this is the standard candlestick, Heike Nashi candlestick, chart. As you can see it from the chart, this standard Heike Nash candlestick basically uses a different formula to indicate whether the trend on candlesticks and that time frame is strong or not. When you see those wicks and blue candlesticks, that usually means that the trend is, that the trend is indeed strong. So this is the representation of a strong trend especially if the wicks are to the upside and each candle is higher than the previous candle. The ideal uptrend configuration is this, where basically each wick of a Heike Nashi candle has its, its point higher than the previous one. But this is also a sign of uptrend. This is also a sign of uptrend, and this may be a sign of downtrend starting, as this. So basically, Heike and Ashi candlestick represent the retracement and a possible reversal into the market. Because at this point, we cannot say whether this will be a reversal or it's just a retracement in uptrend. As we can see from this example, this is a retracement uptrend. But still, these candlesticks suggest that the trend is strong. Now, there is a better thing than pure Heike Nash candlesticks. It's called Heike Nash Smoothed or HACS. HAS. Now, recently traders started using a, a Heike Nash smoothie candlesticks. Why? Because it smooths a lot of noise in the market. You will see the same chart, but only with standard candlesticks applied from this point to this point. I will show you the same chart. Some studies in 2013 show that Heike Nash 
is better used as a smoothed cake and ashy. So today, when you see a cake and ashy candlestick pattern and candlestick, uh, cake and ashy candlestick system, it will usually use cake and ashy smoothed indicator to give you a system entry or to show you the chart. Not just simple cake and ashy, but cake and ashy smoothed as it's definitely better as it smooths out a lot of noise from the market. Okay? It's usually paired with a couple of MA indicators and usually it's the four. But in the system which I will show you, it doesn't use any of, of, the, of those four standard uh, MAs. I will show you that and you will see. It basically uses only one. But very often you can see that there is not uh, many, there is not many cake and ash systems out there. But if you see one, usually you will see that it's paired with a couple of MA indicators. And this is the same chart. So this is the same thing but only with smoothed cake and ash candlesticks. And now, you can see the real power of cake and ashy from cake and ashy smoothed indicator. You see that each of those candlesticks from the, here has a nice uptrend. Look at these weeks. Each week is higher than the previous week and it's a sign of uptrend. Here we can see a nice downtrend and again a nice uptrend. Now, let's say that this is four hour time frame. Now look at the bullish price action. Just count the candles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine candlesticks of a bullish price action on four hour time frame. Now imagine how many pips it will be for you if you hold on to your trade for nine consecutive bullish candlesticks and you're following now Heiken Ashi, you don't follow price action standard Japanese candlesticks. The chart may look like this but ultimately this is what it matters when you trade Heiken Ashi candlesticks. This is what you're looking for. Trend. And actually Heiken Ashi trading is a, is a trend trading because many of cake and ashy systems and every single one I have tested and tried for educational purposes I can say that 90% of it is it's basically a trend following method so same, same here if you compare it to this chart it's a lot of smoother and now these are the same, this is the same chart, but one it uses standard Heike and Ashi candlesticks and the other uses smoothie candlesticks and now the answer which one you should use is, of course, very clear. Heike and Ashi smoothed the same price action here and here, but this indicator looks a lot better. So you can see a nice trend there, but you cannot see a nice, so nice trend here. There is, why? Because you see there is a week there, big week, then this low is low, lower than, this high is lower than this one, this high is higher, but this high is lower, and this is also weak. You, you see, it's not a constant. It's not very constant. It's, it's a lot of it looks like it, it does some whipsaw. But in this example, it's like a song. Like, like, look at this, how nicely it goes. Just look at the curves of this. It looks like a dragon. But this, this does not look anything good. So, just imagine how man, many pips you would earn if you follow Heike and Ashi instead of standard price action or standard H, 
a analysis. Now, of course, in, in nature, it's not so, it's not so, I can say, easy. But uh, as I always, as I was always telling you, you need to pick up a dimension which you will trade. Heike Neshi is in between uh, price action and indicator dimension. So basically, if you if you opt to trade with Keiki Nashi, you should forget about Japanese candlestick patterns classic. Then all your power should be focused on trading Keiki Nashi systems. And there are a lot of systems which use Keiki Nashi, Keiki Nashi and Renko, Keiki Nashi and Ichimoku. In some of our webinars, maybe I will present you also with a advanced Heike Nashi trading. But first you need to begin from starters. If you want to, Heike, to learn about Heike Nashi and to try to use a basic system which can give you a profit, if you use it correctly, you can use Heike Nashi smoothed. And then later we can move on to some Heike Nashi smoothed advanced basic, advanced systems. This one which I will show you today is a basic one. But it's still, it, it's one of the best for, for trading because it, you can basically trade each single pair with Keiki Nashi. Now, that strategy which I was telling you about uses 30 minutes and above time frame. And any currency pair can be traded. Now these are the settings for Heike Nashi smoothed candlesticks. If you open indicator, it will show you these settings. So you need to have this MA method two, MA period six, MA method two, uh, three, and MA period two, two. So basically it's all about moving averages and it, as you can see it's four different moving averages. So Heike Nashi smoothing indicator should be like this, MA method 2, MA period 6, MA method 2, 3, and MA period 2, 2. So 2, 6, 3, 2. 2, 6, 3, 2 for Keiki Kanashi. TDI, red, green, red and green line. RSI, 13 period, RSI price 0. Volatility band 34, RSI price line 2, trade signal line 7. So it's TDI, red, and basically green. If you want me to show you the chart, this is how it looks like. Basically applied on your charts, it, it, on the real-time chart, it will look like this. So this is how standard Heike Nashi smoothie template with EDI applied should look like. So you can see nice price action from Heike Nashi and you can see a standard price action from Japanese candlesticks. So both types of charts are shown there and of course you will follow a Heike Nashi. Smoothed. Now, how this strategy works? For long positions, the green line has to cross the red line on the TDI. Heike Nashi bar has to be blue. If it's five or more bars since TDI crossover, we do not enter the trade, we wait for another setup. TDI preferably is below or very close to 32. So these are the rules for long positions. Targets, it depends on the currency parent time frame. You can aim for 30 plus pips if you are trading on 30 minute charts or 100 plus pips on 4 hour charts. But I, as always, use advice using standard pivot points. So just apply your standard pivot point indicator so you can basically exit if you want partially exit out of trade when price hits one level. Or if you want to trade pure Heike Nashi strategy in its core, then you can leave basically your trade at least for the moment when the first candlestick looks opposed to your trade. So if you were short here, you can close your trade at the first candlestick in the opposite color. It's blue. Or if you were long there, this candlestick is 
here is the red so you can close your trade here if you are long here then you can close your trade here or if you're here short you can close your trade here usually cake and ashy traders do it like this they don't use uh, a lot of pivot points or sometimes they don't even use pivot points because they want to trade as I said before as long as they can towards the trend so they would exit the trade only when an opposite color is shown after the blue if it's shown red the traders would close the long trade or after the red it's short trade and for the first blue color they would close the trade so usually after after that price action of the Haken Ash indicator they would they would close the trade so this is M30 time frame and you can see how strong it can be how strong it can be now there are also other rules so four rules for basically entering the market this is optional rule but from my observations you have less trades when you go with this kind of rule but uh, eventually your trades are mo more accurate if you apply these settings here now for the short position the rules for short entries are as follows the red line has to cross the green line on the TDI Haken Eshi bar has to be red if it's five more bars since TDI crossover do not enter the trade wait for another setup TDI is preferably above or very close to 68. As I said, this is an optional entry. With this four rule, fourth rule applied, you would have less trades, but they would be more accurate. If you remove this rule, you would have more trades, but some of them will not be accurate. You need, it to you need to test it both, and you need to... I would always opt for these rules for less trades, for more accurate trades because you can trade any currency pair now of course the same as for long trades cake and ashy traders want to stay in trend as long as they can and it depends on the currency pair and the time frame so if you aim, you can aim for 30 plus pips if you're trading on 30 minute charts or 100 plus pips on four hour charts or you can use standard pivot points if you want to be a full fledged cake and ashy trader then usually you don't use standard pivot points. You use just Haken Ashi candlesticks for exiting the trade. Stop loss, you can adjust it according to time frame. Usually for 30 minutes, 30 pips of a stop loss is pretty fine. This example shows basically how Euro dollar could, could have been traded last week. So when you spot an indicator cross, you see it's above 68 red is over red has crossed the green it's above 68 and you just need to count the candles one two at the second candle a Haken Ash indicator turned red so it needs to be below five candles to actually take the trade so this candle is second after the cross and the trade could have been very safe now you can see this indicator has exited and entered here because it, this can be a signal to enter basically a long position but your Haken Ashi is preserving you even though I just this I, I added this example even though if this was a blue candle we would have taken we wouldn't have taken this trade because it doesn't have more it has more than five candlesticks but this is a good example because actually you could have ride you could have ride the trend Row the trend from this point to this point so actually you would close your trade here at the first at the first sign of a trend change and that is a blue cake and ashy candlestick now this is also a possible signal but you need to wait for cake and ashy to turn blue so here in this example it were it was very very good very good but also one of those cake and ashy didn't turn blue 
but here we can see another cross, it's very close to 32, and you can count the candles on. One, two, three, four, five, basically. So if this candlestick has turned here, at the fifth candlestick, it the buy signal was issu issued. And eventually you could have entered your buy here and, and close your buy here. Now this, I would ignore it completely because you can see where TDI is. And this is the best. If you, if you basically use it as overbought and oversold, you, can, you will have less trades but more accurate. Look at this. It's above 68 and there is the cross here. So we count 1, 2, 3. At the third candle, Heiken Ashi, sell signal was issued and basically you could have rode this trend to this point. Look at this. Ride it up. Look at this. To this point. Here you would exit the trade and at this point basically you can see the cross it's a it's a far from 32 still it's if you if you notice this also section here it was not close to 68 although the signal was good here so if, if it closed here we can count this is a signal one two at the second candle it was good to sell but I wouldn't have taken the sell because this should be at least very very close to 68 so this is actually how you can trade the system and basically if you open a live, live chart you can add whatever pair you want and try to handle it it works great on strong trends such as this this is a scholastic example look at this this is a signal. One, two, three, four, five candlesticks. No, not a valid signal. Let me remove it like this. Then let's see this signal here. Okay, here. It's a cross below 32. And you have one, two. At this candle you go long. At this candle you go long basically all the way up there. So 16 points could have been traded here. Now this is a signal also. It's a very close to 68. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the fifth candle after the signal. Five, and this is basically where you could have shorted it all the way down to here. Look at this. So this was a short signal here, here, and you count the 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 bars after one, two, three, four, five. It it's still in the in the rule of five. Can can actually candlesticks after the signal has been issued and the red appeared and it went down. It looks interesting, right? And I think it's one of the good as far as I could have tested it. I, I didn't do any uh, serious, serious backtesting. But from my perspective and how the logic is behind this all cake and ashy smoothed candlesticks, it looks, it looks uh, fine to me. So actually, it's a good thing that you can basically trade whichever pair you want to trade. Let's see this one. This is a signal, right? One, two, three, four, five. It's more than five, so we actually don't take the signal. Well, it's the rule. Now, all of these signals, one, two, three, four, five, is, is, is a lot. All of those signals are a lot. You see, they, they don't have a red after five bars. But this might be good. This is a red. Uh, almost good. One, two, three, four, more than five. So you need to back test it like this as I do it. But this is a good long signal. Look at this. One, two. At this bar you basically go long and you 
you will close your trade here. 48 pips on M30 time frame. Let's see this. This is a cross and the next bar is a signal. See, those trades need patience, but eventually 130 pips. So, uh, this is clear now how it works, right? If you have any questions, you can ask me, of course, I will gladly answer you. If you are interested in this strategy, and I think you are interested in this strategy, you can mail me, of course, at my email, tarantulafix at gmail.com. I will send you the complete template with indicators you need to trade it. Also, what I want to say, if you want to go with how Heike and Ashi traders do, then you will ride the whole trend. So, you, these candlesticks are basically, they, they do not uh, repaint. So basically you would, you would ride it until the trend is over, until the next blue candlestick appears if you're short or if you're long until next red Heiken Eshi appears. So it's basically, a, they call it a free ride. They, are, they want to ride the trend. They don't want to, to uh, close prematurely. They want to ride it until the trend shows a sign of exhaustion. Let's take a look at this interesting Euro New Zealand. Actually, it, it works perfectly good in strong trends. But sometimes you will not have all of those opportunities to trade until you are patient enough. This is a signal here. Actually, this is a signal there, and look at this, here, to this point, from this point to this point. So you don't pay attention to Japanese candlesticks, you just pay attention to blue candlesticks if you're uh, long, and the first red it appears, you close your trade. Let's see GBP yen. Now, I didn't cherry pick this. Now, we go through a testing of this system. Okay. This is more than five, unfortunately. And there is another sell signal because candlesticks are blue. And it's more than five here. Let's see. Looks like Oh, no, actually, it was a good signal. Actually, this signal was good. Uh, uh -huh. As with other indicators, the, the strength of the entries increase with higher time frames. We will see. I think yes, because you will gain more pips. If I move my mouse, the picture is jumping. I don't know if picture is jumping. Now, is picture jumping at, at this moment? I think it, it, it's very, yeah, maybe, I don't know why, I don't know, it's okay. So it doesn't jump. So this is also, look at this, this is also uh, a sell signal here. This is the time when red cross green. Now you count. One, two, three, four. At the fifth candlestick, this is the, the top point, anywhere from one to five. The fifth candlestick showed an entry because this candle turned red. We go for entry there. So basically, and you write it Till here. So 100 pips of a ride. Okay? Now let's see 4 hour time frame. Yeah, 
Excellent. This is the signal. One, two, three, four. At the four candlestick, the actual trade is initiated to this point. 254 pips. Now, for all of you who want to trade this kind of system in Haken Ashi, I advise you to be very patient with a with system. Because the system is, as I said, you don't close your trades usually at pivot points. You want to ride it freely. Okay? So you need to watch basically every single candle close. And sometimes it can be a bit hard if you trade on M30. Because if you trade M30, at each half an hour you need to see whether the cake and ash is uh, red or blue. But it's a lot of easier if you trade it on 4 hour because as you can see it can go for even more than a day. And you need to be patient. This is a signal here. One, two, three. You basically take short here. And you close your short there. 224 pips. Yes. As Ravi says, a good option to be considered for part-time non-day traders. Exactly. Exactly, guys. This also can be a nice little strategy which I will be putting it on my website EliteCurrency.com and if you haven't visited yet you can visit it there because I have also included a free strategy and this this is also one of the options I may include it because it looks really interesting for people who cannot who cannot trade each day and who trade it part-time as you can see Admiral market spreads are excellent so, of course, we always advise using Admiral Markets as brokers of choice because we personally, me and Chris, use also Admiral Markets. And in one of our next webinars, I will show you why I trade, why I trade 24 pairs. And I will show you a real statement of my account to back it up with everything which I talk. And you will see how trading 20, 24 pairs is indeed good. And you will see numbers which will be included in my, in my real statement analysis. I will include also the, I will include it in, in a article I will write it about. Yeah, for all of you who want to know a uh, website, it's basically... EliteCurrency.com It's EliteCurrency.com It's a simple and nice website which has the purpose of teaching and basically helping traders to achieve their maximum performance. Uh, I also want to say that of course if you want to use the strategy I need to tell you, try to test it first. Because you need to test it. You need to test it uh, before you go with, with live trading. This is also, if you backflip chart like I do, you will see many good trades. Look at this. Again, a nice sell signal. The first next candle after this one is closed, is red, and basically 84 pips. So guys, if you are uh, unsure whether you can trade or not, uh, or if you cannot uh, access uh, those nice, good systems which I present you each week, it's usually because you are working full-time with your day job. And actually, this cake and ashy strategy can work it out for you. If you're not in mood for scalping, you just need to watch every four hour the close of the candle and signals. And I advise you to have uh, many pairs applied to this, to this uh, strategy because it is indeed powerful, as you can see, 
and you can use it but it needs patience and of course test it prior to uh, fully trade it with your live account okay so guys this is all uh, this is everything I was planning for you today as always you can visit our and you should visit our spiders then which is indeed good which is indeed great because there are many good traders who, who also posting setups here with me and of course always 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 go to admiralmarkets.com you can find my blog there and read through blog because very often I would put my session recap results here session recap results and daily analysis such as Eurocad I don't know if you follow the Eurocad but I made announcement yesterday and there was 35 P potential after this level was hit it went down for 35 pips it was a straight drop from this point the price has indeed touched after my analysis this and went down so basically always follow the blog and Twitter use Twitter use those yo know, I, I didn't use Twitter uh, five six months ago and start using it try to use Twitter it's a great thing I am uh, I am really active uh, on Twitter and basically uh, I also update my potential trade setups there for last recap results as you can see session recap results were quite fine 65 pips on euro 15 pips on cable 60 pips on Aussie minus 30 or minus 40 on GBP New Zealand unfortunately but dollar cat again plus 45 pips so it was 80 it was 140 100, 145 pip potential from all of these trades if you manage to get 30 40 out of 145 then again you got your free pips and every free pip free pip is a is is a gift right so guys thank you yeah the dollar cad uh, touched my entry and went plus 50 pips excellent Ravi yes excellent plus 50 pips sometimes uh, my results will be maybe a little different sometimes I usually take a lower part of those uh, of those entries so basically because you know I, I don't want to be so aggressive with that because some someone may think wow I, I'm, I'm I exaggerating I don't exaggerate because every time you visit my session recap I show I always show you where the entry is and I always show you whether the stop loss is hit and where the price went and that is why I advise you to use trailing stop if you use trailing stop most of the time with my analysis you will be profitable and you know that already so guys thank you for this nice little session and thanks of course Admiral Marcus for uh, helping me to cooperate with you and helping you to to meet me meet uh, with me so basically we are working together in synergy to give you the best opportunities for trading to teach you all about forex market and to teach you psychology as well so guys thank you for listening to me and I will talk to you very very soon take care and many green pips to you of course do not forget to email me if you want this strategy if you want me to send you this free strategy. Thank you very much and cheers.